Welcome back to Two Camp Gurus. It's been a while, but today I have five more things that you should check before you buy a used RV, travel trailer, or anything like that to make sure you uh, know ahead of time what you may or may not be getting into. If you like camping and the great outdoors, you're in the right place. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video so you can find out how you can get your free ebook and pre trip checklist to make sure you and your rig are ready for the road. But now let's get right into it. Uh, I'm not going to go inside the RV because it's uh, kind of out back here in storage. Uh, this is an old geezer I've been using for filming, uh, but we are going to be getting rid of this unit. That's really not worth a heck of a lot except for the engine back in the 70s. But let's get right to it. Uh, if I was going to be looking at this on the purchase and I was going to, I'm going to go inside of it, outside of it, I'm going to do a bunch of things. But someone actually commented, I think, on the seven key things to look for, and they had a great idea. Uh, of course, I would do this on the inside, but you want to check around the corner of all the windows. You can press in that area. That is a very common area for leakage because, it, you know, you can see this has been cocked quite a bit. Hopefully you can see it. You're a little ways away. But water gets in there, and of course it runs down, and then it'll hit a beam or something, and that's where it will start to soak in. So on the inside of the unit, if you press and check those corners, you might be able to tell if there's a spongy area or a soft area or wetness or some rotting, uh, stuff like that. So that is, uh, was a great tip by somebody. Thank you very much. Uh, I would definitely recommend doing that. Number two, uh, and these are in no particular order, you want to get underneath the rig and check out the propane lines as well as inside where those propane lines go into the unit. Make sure there's been no chafing, rubbing, uh, no corrosion on those lines, uh, especially something this old, of course. Uh, the tank for this one, the propane tank for this one is right underneath here. So, um, but you're going to have to get underneath there. You don't want, you're going to be climbing under this thing when you get it home anyways. Why not, why not do it when you're not stuck with the costly repairs? Get underneath there, follow those lines as best you can, where they go through the unit up into the um, inside of the RV. Now, whether it's an RV or travel trailer, it doesn't matter. Um, you still want to check them. Uh, maybe there's some chafing, maybe they've been rubbing, maybe there's some worn areas of those propane lines, and that is something you want to have fixed right away before you head out camping. Especially if it's something that's been sitting around for a while, uh, there could be some corrosion. Another thing you want to check is brakes. Now there's a couple different things you want to check depending on whether or not it's an RV or a travel trailer. If it's a travel trailer it's going to have electric brakes most likely uh, you know depending on the size of it and it's but you're still going to want to check those pads. Um, probably something you would replace anyways at some point. Uh, this is an often overlooked thing is brakes on your travel trailer. You check your vehicle, your tow vehicle all the time but if you have a travel trailer how many people take the time to check those brakes? So do that before you buy it. Uh, again, it's not necessarily going to prevent you from making the purchase, but you're going to know right away another cost that may be involved in getting it ready for the road. Uh, if it's an RV, then what you want to you want to check your brakes to make sure the pads are in good shape or, or at least know what you're getting into. But then also look on the inside of the tire. Now I'll just use this tire as an example. Uh, you won't see it on the outside, but if you were to get under the vehicle and look on the back side, down at the bottom, if there is, um, in fact, what I would do is get in the unit and pump the brakes several times, hold the brakes, press down so you have some pressure on them, wait a little bit, so do that in the beginning of your tour. When you, After you've done that, go outside, climb underneath, and look for liquid running down the inside of the tire. If you see that, then you know you have a leaking wheel cylinder that you're going to want to replace. Another thing you want to check is the frame. If it's a RV, then of course you're going to have the vehicle frame that comes all the way to the uh, back and you want to make sure that that's not all rusted, there's not holes rotted through and issues like that that's going to be very costly and time consuming to repair. So get underneath there, check the frame, check the flooring from underneath. I know I talked about checking the flooring inside the RV as well in the last video. But check it from underneath as well. And last but not least, uh, number five for this particular video is checking the wiring, uh, all your compartments for rodents and wire wiring damage. If it's an RV, then another area to check is under the hood in the engine compartment to make sure the varmints have not got in there and chewed up wiring and stuff like that, uh, as well as throughout the um, cabin area of the RV slash travel trailer, whatever it might be. Get into the back of those cabinets, 
uh, all of your outside storage cabinets. Open those up. Get a, make sure you have a flashlight. Get in there. Look around really good. Look for a nest and any nesting material that might have been from an animal. And also check the wiring to see if anything has been chewed up. Uh, this is another thing that's overlooked and could be very expensive and time-consuming and replacing a lot of the wiring to get that rig ready for the road. All right, so like I said, uh, you stuck around to the end. Down in the description, there's a link to the pre-trip checklist and free ebook. That's going to give you a list of things to make sure you uh, have most of everything you need to hit the road and to make sure your vehicle is safe and ready to go. So make sure you click on that. It's free download. I uh, appreciate you coming by. Thanks for swinging by two Camby Gurus. Have a great day, happy camping, and we'll see you in the next video. And or RVs. If, you, if it's an RV, you want to uh, take two.